Hey YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here with a review of the Kamen Rider Gaim Arms Change Series 9 featuring Kamen Rider Kurokage and the Tulip Hopper. Uh, this is another one of those arms change lock vehicle combo set things. Uh, since I guess they didn't feel like people would buy the Tulip Hopper on its own, which is a shame because the Tulip Hopper is really, really cool. But anyhow, a uh, big long box just like, uh, Greedon, Tula Popper, arms change figure over here. Um, does it show Jimba Gaim? No, it don't. But anywho, let's go ahead and move this out of the way and take a look. Alright, so first and foremost, let's go ahead and take a look at Kurokage. So he's got a very plain base suit. In fact, so much that it is incredibly boring. Uh, it's just pure black. He got the silver armor accents and his rather lame looking helmet that I'm not too fond of but that's really about it with him I mean he's he's Kurokage for one he didn't do a whole lot and then he got turned into a foot soldier basically and you're not gonna expect much but anyway his whole thing is hide in the shadows even though he didn't listen to that uh, while well, he was Kurokage but Kurokage that's a new one but, uh, anywho, it's it, it's still an alright figure. I mean, same articulation that we have come to know and love with the arms change line. Just it looks very bland. But a lot of the undersuits look bland, so. And that is okay. You serve your purpose, Kurokage. So, we take the Matsubokuri arms, the pine cone. Very long and kind of looks a little bit like the Jimba arms before it uh, starts unfolding. But, same routine. Pop it on the head, lock it in place. Now he's a pine cone head. He looks like something to me. I don't really know what, like some sort of monster from like a Resident Evil or something. But anywho, pop this down, down, and down. And you have Kamarada Kurokage Matsubokuri Arms. I really like it, actually. It, the, the armor itself is very streamlined. There's no bulk on the back, no bulk in the front. You do have the big, bulky shoulder pads, but given Kurokage's design, that's something that is to be expected anyway. Uh, and they actually maneuver quite a bit because of their little spoky things up here. Stems? Pine cones have stems? I don't know. Um, they can't go as far vertical as would have been appreciated. But, uh, you can raise it upward quite a bit, and even at its limit, it still goes about as high as the arm can physically go. So these shoulder pads do not hinder any sort of posing whatsoever. And that is one thing I really like about the Arms Change series, is that there is really no limits to the articulation, even with all this bulky armor. Because it always can maneuver in ways to get out of the way, and that's always very much appreciated. And I don't know, there's just something I really dig about Kurokage. He's uh, very basic, but uh, I really like the armor. It is very reminiscent of the actual armor that these types of uh, foot soldiers used in Japan. So I really, really like the way that it ends up looking. He does have his weapon, which the name escapes me. It will be right here. Uh, and it's just a long spear weapon and it uh it serves its purpose it is a soft rubbery material so it will get bent out of shape very very easy so do watch it um if you pick these up that the weapon will more than likely get bent um if you try to go for a two-handed stance uh be warned that if you have this bent in any sort of way, so if this is not 100% straight, it will bend on your shelf. I've had that happen to many uh, staff weapons before. But uh, still really cool. I dig uh, long spear weapons, staff weapons. I just think they're really cool. And uh, Kurokage here is no exception. I really, really like it. Uh, so now on to the Tula Popper, which is really cool actually. So you got the Tula Popper right here. It is awfully big. As you can see back here, it extends far past the actual uh, lock segment right here. 
And just with all the others, it does feature um, ability to attach to the Sengoku or Genesis drivers. Um, and it can cut forward, just like all of the others. However, this one's a little bit more of a, on a ratchet. So when the knife goes in here, it will push it forward and it will, won't swing backwards or anything like that. But uh, there we go. That's all for the sake of transformation anyway. But it is a cool little feature. So to transform the tulip lock seed into the tulip hopper, swing these bits forward, swing that down so that you can actually stand, and then just level these out to about there so that these are straight and these are in the back. Pop open the lock. This is kind of like a viewing screen of some sort in the show, so that's pretty cool that they implemented that. Obviously, there's no implementation of the in the toy, but uh, still a cool design choice for the show. And that is it. There's no sort of movement in uh, the vertical direction down here, so you can't get any really cool hopping poses. But you can you can get a little bit of a thing going with that. So pretty cool. Again, very very simple. Uh, to use these, Kurokage himself never used one. The Kurokage Troopers have used them on several occasions and don't press down or else that happens. Fun fact, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so pick up the toy and do it. Don't be lazy. <laughs> Just plug his feet in there. And there are tiny little handles that any figure can grip. And now he is piloting the tulip popper. Like I said, I don't know. I just really like it. It uh, it's neat. It it's kind of like a little kangaroo AT, AT walker or something like that. I don't know. It just really really uh, gels with me. I really like it. Uh, and of course, you can make him hold his weapon stuff on here too. In the show, they hopped around and kicked things and stuff. So, overall, I don't know, really cool. It's my favorite of the four lock seeds. It's just really neat. And uh, I've seen pictures of this online. It's not an official thing, but you can actually lock those together. And now the Tulip Popper has a giant laser cannon attached to the front of it. And, I mean, who doesn't love giant laser cannons, right, guys? <laughs> so that's a thing that you could do as well. So once again, Arms Change Kurokage is a great, great addition to the line. Not only are you getting a new base figure to play around with, you're getting a new set of arms to attach to any of the Arms Change figures, plus a really cool lock vehicle. So if you've only been collecting the Arms Change line and not the lock vehicle line, you do already have the Dandeliner. So what's one more to the collection? You might as well hunt down the bikes too while you're at it. A good old Bandai and their money making. So <laughs> anyway, I really dig the Tulip Hopper. I think it's a great, great toy. Uh, and it, it really does add a lot to any sort of arms change displays, uh, just based on how solid it is. The Matsubokuri arms is plain looking, yet very elegant in the fact that it doesn't really have a whole lot of kibble and bulk to it. So I really appreciate that. Now the base form of Kurokage is very, very plain, but uh, given some of the other figures, that's okay. And given his whole role as a hide-in-the-shadows type of suit... It, uh, it certainly works for the character. Well, not really the character. It works for the suit, anyway. <laughs> uh, now, given the fact that his belt is yellow, this is the actual Kurokage, not a Kurokage Trooper. Um, but that doesn't stop you from buying as many as you want, Kurokage Troopering it up. All it takes is a little bit of silver paint around that belt, and you got yourself a Kurokage Trooper. So, uh, go ahead, army build if you wish. I'm not going to stop you. Uh, it certainly would look cool on the display. But regardless, as the character and as the lock vehicle, this is a great, great set that adds a whole lot of playability to the arms change line, as always. So um, here's hoping that uh, we get some cool releases throughout the remainder of the line, and it looks like we will. So up next is Kamen Artigam Jimba Lemon Arms and Cherry Jimba Cherry and Jimba Peach and Jimba Melon. Jimba everything. So look forward to that. Thanks for watching. Take care and have a great one. Bye.